The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. This is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Welcome to my show. Today's we have two guests, special guests. First one is Pastor Jim Keller, nope. and this one is oh, Somo. Yeah. Somo. Somo. That's a beautiful name. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. What what, is, what does it mean in Burmese? I don't think it's really, I never asked that. <laughs> wow. It's after a uh, Solomon. Good. Solomon. Ah, you are blessed. So, we have questions for today about uh, their organization. They are with LAM. Now, what does the initials LAM stand for? LAMP stands for Lutheran Agency for Missions to Burmese. Mm. When and why was it formed? Uh, we began, I began LAMP in about 2003 and it was formed to uh, do outreach to the growing Burmese community here in Fort Wayne. So are there a lot of Burmese in our Fort Wayne and Allen County? Yes. Um, at the time we had about 6,000. I haven't heard the latest census. Uh, to get those numbers yet, but we believe it's over 10,000. Yeah. That is a blessing. I'm glad they're here. I'm glad they're safe away from Myanmar and what's happening over there. Uh, and you are its definite founder, the only one? Yes. And how long has Soon Somo been working for you? Uh, we've been working with Somo for three years? Four years now. So what are working you together. Oh yeah, what do you do, sir? Uh, I'm in. I'm studying this program called the EIT. It's mm -hmm. called Ethnic Immigrant Institute of Theology. It's from St. Louis, uh, Missouri. Um, uh, the Concordia Seminary from there. Um, I'm a student right now, and I'm also doing mission stuff with LAM. So your mission, what is it really? Exactly. Exactly. Well. Um, the original intent of LAM was to build a bridge from Burma to Christ. And so it was to uh, open the door to religious faith-based conversations with non-Christians who were coming from Burma. It's Myanmar now, is Myanmar. it? Myanmar. Myanmar. What does yep. that mean in, in Burmese? Is there a different meaning? Uh, well, Myanmar was the traditional name of the country, and then under the British occupation, it became known as Burma. Burma. Mm -hmm. So they resorted back to their original name. Right. So how long have you been in uh, Fort Wayne? I live in Fort Wayne about 12, 13 years. I got sponsored in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. We stayed there for a year. Um, it was really hard out there because there's not a lot of Burmese community. Oh. So uh, we moved out here in 2009. So you and your whole family? Me and my whole family, yes. How many people do you have in your family? Uh, just five of us. I have two siblings and my parents. Do you always like? No, no. <laughs> so what duties do you have, Pastor um, Jim? Well, originally I had everything. I've been slowly backing off of that. I've been doing this for over 20 years, working in the Burmese years. community, mm -hmm. and um, just really felt uh, the Lord's leading to start passing the baton to younger leaders who could take the ministry in different directions, leaders like this guy here. So where are you leading it to? Right now I'm working with the youth. Um, Good. Yes. <laughs> Is there many churches with the... 
Burmese uh, families and that? Or? Um, well, within the Lutheran community here in Fort Wayne, we have Burmese at many different Lutheran schools, um, but Lutheran church-wise, uh, Southwest Lutheran Church, mm -hmm. where Somo is a vicar at, and then New Life, uh, where I'm the pastor, that's the primary Lutheran churches that we have Burmese. There are other Burmese uh, churches in town or churches mm. that have Burmese, uh, mainly among Baptists mm. and um, and then uh, Church of Christ. Wow. Church of Christ, Assemblies of God, they have uh, Burmese Isn't worship there services. A, where, what street is Assemblies of God? Is it on Washington? S well, on Coldwater, Coldwater, there's a church there mm -hmm. uh, that came out of the... Um, Assemblies of God, Church of Christ. Uh, that's Myanmar Indigenous Christian Church, or MICC. That's good. And how can people get into, who are Burmese? Can you speak in Burmese to say where that church is? So people will be listening to uh, the uh, whoever can. You want to do it? You go ahead. You want me to do it? They would love I to don't see know the exact the address. Place. It's time for you to shine. <laughs> The MICC uh, Atendo, the Coldwater Langma, uh, Walmart Nima. The Bupyushiko Nekushide, Patama, the Zochin, Duria Brahmasaga. That's beautiful. You said it right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just checking, just checking. So, uh, basically, the mission is to contact all of the people who are non-Christian in Burmese. Well, we work in the Burmese language and also currently in the Korean language. Korean? Yeah. Yes, I know some Koreans. Yeah. Do you know Miu Mian? Yeah. I interviewed him several times. Burmese soldier. There was a movie about him. Movie about him. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you... what? type of services do you uh, give them? Social services and spiritual services? Explain further. Well, um, in the past we've done a wide variety of things as the need arose. So we did English as a second language classes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, done, I personally have done thousands of green card applications and citizenship applications, assisted with food stamp applications, Medicaid applications, uh, one of the big things that we currently do is we provide medical advocacy. So, you know, imagine uh, coming to a country that you cannot speak the language oh, and you're sick oh. and you maybe n never had a lot of health care or been to a doctor so you don't have a lot of uh, knowledge of how the system works. Um, and so we provide medical advocacy. Uh, Lamb has a full-time staff person that does that, mm -hmm. um, and she works with pregnant women. She works with, uh, usually she has at least three cancer patients that she's working with, um, elderly, uh, and also uninsured people, and helps them find... Elderly? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, some have no family to take care of them, oh, oh, oh. and so, um, and others, the family, uh, just trying to make ends meet is not they're not able to provide the care or they don't understand the system either and so and where do, they, um, do you have them find work I have done job development in the past as well I've done a little bit of everything as the need arose um, right now we're kind of focusing more on medical advocacy and uh, training youth mm. do you help out with Medicaid Medicare understanding like yeah. that later Yep, and we have negotiated medical bills, we have made a lot of phone calls and applied for financial assistance. And um, So how uh, many uh, different uh, religions are in Burma? Buddhism is the primary religion and that is kind of the national religion. Mm -hmm. uh, then you do have Christianity. Oh, um, you got Christians over there? Yes. Oh, all this? War and amongst themselves, and they still, wow, mm -hmm. that's good. Lutheran? Uh, a very small Lutheran population. Mm -hmm. Lutherans got into Burma quite late. Uh, the Catholics had priests that went into Burma, mm -hmm. and then um, the first American foreign missionary was Adoniram Judson, who um, 
became Baptist and the, the uh, uh, Baptist Mission Board actually formed to support his work there. He translated the Bible into Burmese, which oh. is the um, kind of the preferred translation, I guess, uh, that many people hold to. It's kind of on the equivalent of the old King James Bible. Oh. Um, and so he did that. Richard. And uh, so you have many people that are back coming from a Baptist background or a Catholic back background. Um, but there are some Assemblies of Gods over there. There are a few uh, Lutheran churches. One of the first Lutheran churches to arrive in Burma actually didn't arrive among Burmese people. It arrived among people from India who were brought into Burma and had been Lutheran in India and then came into Burma. Wow. You been there? 2003, I made a short <coughs> trip to Burma. Whereabouts in Burma were you from? I came here as a refugee, so mm -hmm. I did got a chance to go back to visit. In 2017, mm -hmm. I got a chance to go back to Burma and see my grandparents for the first time. So, that was cool. <laughs> Sue. So. Sue, uh, what's her name, the leader? Uh, on Sun 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 Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, is, she, is she still under uh, arrest? Uh, she yeah, uh, she's still under under arrest. Right she now. came over here she several did. years ago. We mm -hmm. saw her, and we we didn't get a chance to shake hands, but I knew some of the people, Tiha, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, Mia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew them. They were on my show too. I have a lot of people on my shows. But I am very glad uh, that the Burmese are here in Saina. How are they adapting? How are, they, how are your people adapting mm -hmm. to this different type of culture? Is it very, very difficult? It is a new culture for them. Everything is shock. I mean, imagine yourself, you're in the jungle and then you're in the city mm. and you Nothing you see you that. barely see cars and motorcycle and now you have to drive them <laughs> so there's the a right big ch yeah no, big change uh -huh. so uh, it is hard uh, for for our parents but <clears throat> they're taking the yeah one step at a time mm -hmm. um, for me as I'm working with youth I, I see more of the difficulty is with uh, the parents is connecting with their kids because the kids is living in this two world cultural thing, mm -hmm. uh, so it's really hard for them to uh, communicate. Does the, the, the do the parents speak English? No, they they're learning. Oh, as that's well. good. Uh, yeah, some, some, tough. Yeah, it's, it is. Mm -hmm. but. So spiritual services like what? Well, obviously, we were provide worship services. So, That's right. New Life, our second service mm -hmm. is uh, a bilingual service, English and Korean. Mm -hmm. um, Southwest also is holding multilingual services. Yeah, we do bilingual service uh, once a month, that's cool. and that is where I get to preach in Korean and also in English at the same time. So that's that's. Fun. That's a long service, is it? Well. Speaking English and if one person is doing it by himself, it's that's a lot shorter. If I'm waiting like the translate things like that, that takes a little bit. Uh, how many people work for you guys? Uh, full time staff. Um, Somo is is part time, and then we have one full time staff currently, and that's our medical advocate Taylor on. So you're going to be hiring more on as the thing gets bigger and bigger your organization. It's a nonprofit, right? We are a nonprofit. So you get grants? And we get grants, um, donors, mm -hmm. uh, and so as we put together our ministry plan, then we kind of publish that and say this is the funding that we need in order to carry it out. So let's walk through the pro progressing. They come from Burmese, Burma, sorry. You greet them with the. Who else works along with you? Well, um, to be a refugee, usually they end up in a in an intermediary country, 
So initially, most of them came from Thailand. So they okay. fled Burma, went into Thailand. So, so Somo lived in Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, and then their parents, his parents or the adults would apply to the United Nations High Commission on Refugees. Oh. Once they receive that recognition that they're a refugee, then they can apply to those countries that have said, yes, we will accept refugees from Myanmar. Uh, and so there's a number of countries. And then once they're accepted by that country, mm -hmm. then uh, I can't speak for the other countries, but for the United States, then uh, the arrangements are made for them to be brought to the United States. And in some cases, they can say where they want to go in the United States. Oh. Um, in other cases, if they don't really know, they just go wherever they're, wherever they're sent. Yeah. Um, and so, um, uh, you know, so they gave him watertight shoes and he walked across the ocean. <laughs> He's got to have Irish in him. You yeah. must. <laughs> I was going to ask you now. Now you're getting me Irish. Uh, I am part Irish. <laughs> now, uh, when you finally left Myanmar and went to Thailand, how did you live over in Thailand? I was not born in Burma. Yeah. Uh, my parents, um, we were probably in Burma and Thailand oh. along that border. Oh. Uh, but I did grow up in the refugee camp. I lived there for 10 years. Oh. Uh, 10, 11 years, and then we got sponsored and go through all of that process. And How long did it take, get to you know? uh, Usually take about a year, because uh, you had to do, uh, they had to do a lot of background check and the medical stuff and and other good stuff, so before you can really And you had to out. fork over a lot of money to get over here? No, so the UN, oh. uh, the United Nations were provide all of those like medical stuff and interview and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you do have to pay your plane ticket. So. Oh, darn. <laughs> well, it's, it's a no interest loan that they That's agree. Because yeah, uh, they don't, most refugees don't have the money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah. So uh, it's a no interest loan and then it's a revolving fund. So mm -hmm. as his family pays back that money, then they're able to fly yeah. more people over. And so it, it's a revolving fund. So when you came over to Fort Wayne first? I don't know. I am Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Were, were you greeted by anyone there when you came from there? Yeah, I was greeted with a lot of Angelo. And uh, we also have this uh, one family that are Korean. Mm. And he came out and greeted us. Interpreters? The interpreters. So you didn't speak English until you came over? Exactly. Mm. What is your website? Our website is lamb-fw.org. And the Bible woman, what are they? Do they help you with their uh, service? Or uh, the Bible women is a group of women that uh, have been studying the Bible together. Um, they also do some ministry where they will visit sick people, bring food, pray over them. Um, and uh, for a while they were uh, providing the music singing, um, and now they've kind of expanded it so it's not just women, we have men in the choir as well. And the difference of the similarities between Buddhism and Lutheranism, especially with the language and the meaning of, uh, of them, especially with the Dukkha. 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 Anfektung. Yeah. That's got to be German. It is German. Mm -hmm. Well, um, there are some similarities when you're looking at like uh, the Ten Commandments or the Moral Code. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the, there are similarities in Buddhism. They have some of the same oh. types of Moral Code. Um, or they call them precepts. Uh, the difference, the major difference would be uh, the Buddha taught that you don't need God. Oh. You can achieve your own salvation on your mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. And obviously, uh, Lutheranism being Christian is we need Jesus. We can't do it on our own. And so Jesus does it for us. So tell me, how do you be able to get someone who's Buddhist or whatever, Korean, over to Christianity. How, how do you, what's your methods? I mean, how 
Well, I've been accused of brainwashing and drugging people. No, you people. don't. <laughs> but I, really? I don't. I, yeah, no, I've been accused of that. Oh. People wouldn't eat food in my house because they said I put drugs in it. I said, I have nine kids. I have no money for drugs. Um, I don't like this guy. <laughs> Do uh, Well, it's mostly just kind of laying it out, not in conflict, but saying, if this is what you believe, this is what we believe, and trying to find the similarities oh, and also yeah. highlight the... The differences, mm -hmm. um, and then it's up to the Holy Spirit. We can't make anyone oh, no. become a follower oh, of Jesus. Oh, the Holy Spirit, the God and so, our God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you know we pray a lot. Um, oftentimes, uh, when people come to us in crisis, we will say, "Well, as a follower of Jesus, we can pray. Can I pray for you?" Mm -hmm. And then we pray right there with them, and we make sure we pray in the name of Jesus. And then they see that our God is a God who hears prayers and answers them. And uh, you talk about Jesus. Uh, why he was born, why he died. Yes. So that must be interesting. Yes. To get to have them understand there is such a difference between Buddhism as well as uh, Christianity. Yes. Mm. So you're making a movie. Well, our movie's done. Um, and the it's production, done. all the post-production things are done. Mm -hmm. The distribution is just about ready to go. I'm hoping that we will be able to distribute it starting uh, Father's Day. Next week? Yeah. Hmm. Can I go? Well, actually, it's, it's going to be distributed through cell phones. Hello. So uh, <laughs> there will be a number to text, mm -hmm. and then you will text a message in... In, in English to that number mm -hmm. um, and what message you text will determine which movie you get. We filmed so, the movie twice. Yeah. So every scene, scene is filled, filmed twice. Once in Corinth, once in Burmese. Um, and it's actually a serialized movie. So it's seven parts. Does it have uh, captions of English? And it does not have any subtitles Hello. at this time. So Whoa. People uh, like me I uh, like to watch. I well, yeah, we just didn't get around to that part. <laughs> we got to talk to you, guy. <laughs> Next. But it's starring Somo. What is it about, or shall we say? What is the movie about? <laughs> just briefly, you don't have to get the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just about a husband's working really hard or, um, you know, doing uh, his own thing and not doesn't have the time to spend time with wife or the kids and things like that. And... The, the coach, well, at the movie, the guy plays soccer a lot and doesn't have time to Jesus. spend time with his wife. And the coach is encouraging him to, uh, to, to do this part, you know, like open door and things like that for mm -hmm. his wife. Little thing, uh, especially when he's a Buddhist, so it's hard for him to, like, understand what the Christianity faith is, like opening the mm -hmm. door and little things like that. So. so the way men treated the woman over in Burma? is different than what they do here. Okay. So, yeah, so it's seven segments and there's <coughs> things to do to improve your marriage from the man's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, Can't you know, show it to a woman? Well, the women can watch it, but the idea is that um, so if they text uh, a word, they will get the first segment. Mm -hmm. And then four days later, they'll get a text message in their language saying, how are you doing? Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Or are you keep practicing, oh. and encouraging them. And then four days later, they'll get the next segment and so on. And you still keep in touch with them. Right. Keep in touch. Oh. Right. So we just about have everything uh, ready to roll for the text messaging. How much, how many minutes each? Half an hour, 20 minutes? No. Um, the longest <laughs> segment is seven minutes, I think. Yeah. The shortest is about two and a half minutes. So, so all together, the whole movie is maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Well, that's a good section in the and letting them think about it. What would you like to say to my audience? This is towards the end of the show. So, Sumo? About the movie? About yourself. About, no? you know, Burmese or land. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you see a Burmese people, just say hi. Uh, they're all loving and kind and always inviting. Um, so meet them, talk to them. How do you say uh, hello? Uh, in Korean, Osua. Osua. Uh, it's like, how are you? But that is oh, a way of greeting too. Yeah. And in Burmese, it's Minglaba. Yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> Osua. 
So, and you, sir? Well, I, many people say I could never do what you do, and that's really not true. You can. It just means you be a friend to people, and you help them as you're able to help. And if you're not able to help them, then you just pray with them. Yeah. And just simply say, as a follower of Jesus, can I pray for you? And it doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out prayer. It can be a very simple prayer. Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, please help my friend so. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 So, uh, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Thank you so much, Somo. Thank you. And Pastor Jim for coming on my show. We'll see you next week. God bless. Okay, Coach. Tell me that you're going to be a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more. 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 I'm going to be a Manila? Coach, you're a little bit of 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 a little If I could know you, you could have a favor. A favor, O'Connor. I'm in the left. I'm in the left. I'm in the left. I'm in the left. I'm in the Hari, nak kau ni lah. Ayuh hidup mal. Ii terjalan. Juga. Nenek juga. Don't let this time